Okay, so we have now the in this video we'll be tackling about um, limits and continuity. So when when we say limit, we are trying to find the the limit of a certain function. For example, if a function is approaching a certain value, we will try to find what is the value of that function. So limit itself is uh, is a simple concept, but there are in, there are instances that uh, the concept itself is uh, more tedious or it will become much difficult. So we have here the the theorems on limits. So first we have this one. If limit, if the limit of f of x as x approaches to a exists, then it is unique. So what does it mean? So if a certain function has its limit, then that limit is unique to that function. Okay. So we have also the the limit of f of x plus g of x we have the limit of two functions as x approaches to a so it is equivalent if you are going to um if you are going to broke uh, break down those functions into two terms no? into, uh, into two different limits so we, it, we will have limit of f of x plus limit of g of x all as x approaches to a then you have this one also. So this is the this the sub subtraction part of the uh, of the theorem above. Then you have also the uh, the multiplication and the division. Then the limit of x of k. So this is the reciprocal rule. Then you have also the exponential rule. So we're in n is greater than zero because if n is equal to zero, then uh, n will this this limit will be equivalent to the first limit here if n is less than zero then it the limit will be equivalent to this one then we have also the limit if the function itself has a constant so we'll just remove the constant then the exponential so with a constant then if if the function of f or f if the function is a polynomial function then the limit of x of a the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is equal to f uh, the, is equal to the function of a so what does it mean so we just substitute all the all, all the term with x or substitute x to a and we will arrive with the limit of f of x as x approaches to a so this is a very important um, theorem. So, because this is mainly the theorem that we are going to use in finding the limit of a certain uh, function. You have also the radical, the ra the radical theorem for limits. Then we have also this one. This is for the um, left side and the right side of a limit. Of course, we are not. Uh, we 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 will not try to delve in much farther of this uh, right side and left side. We will just have a separate video on the the right side and the left side of a certain limit. So this is just the introduction to limits itself. We have special limits. So this is very important in which we are, if especially if you are trying to um, to find a limit of a of a function. As, as that function approaches to infinity or zero or this function involves um, in, involves trigonometric function so we have this one so the limit of x as x approaches to zero so our function is sine of x over x so this one is one itself so you will uh, you will be saying that why why is it one so if you are going to substitute zero here zero then it, it, it will be uh, Maybe sine of 0, 0 over 0. So, there is a derivation of this one. Maybe I will just have it in a separate video. But the but this limit is equal to 1. This also has it, its own deriv derivation, which is equal to um, 0. Then also this one. So, n approaches infinity. So, it will be e. Then n approaches 0. It is also e. So, for a greater than 1. So, this will be the value of this one of all of the limits as x approaches infinity so this is for logarithmic and exponential functions if for a is greater than 
uh, for for a is less than zero uh, for a is greater than zero but less than two then this is the limit itself okay so we will have we will try to solve a example here so for our next uh, slide so we have this one evaluate 1x minus 2 uh, minus 2 2x minus 3 over x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x we are guy trying to get the limit of this function as x approaches to 2 okay so we will have here our solution So we'll try to solve first using the conditional method. So this is the conditional method. So we have here a limit of x as x approaches to 2. So we have our function 1 over x minus 2 minus 2 times 2x minus 3 over x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x okay okay so the if you are going to use the theorem that the limit of f of x as x approaches to a is just equal to f of a okay, this one so our a here is equal to 2 so we we'll just um we will just substitute 2 to, to x in this um, function so if we are trying to do that so we have limit of x as x approaches to 2 so we have 1 over 2 minus 2 and minus 2 times 2 times 2 okay. so that is 2x we just have this one in a bracket times 2 minus 3 so over so this will be 2 cube minus 3 2 squared plus 2 times 2 okay so this will be equal to 0 so this is 4 this is 8 this is minus uh, 2 times 2 to the power of 2, 4 times 3, this will be 12. This will be, I think this is plus. This is plus, okay, plus. So 2 times 2, this will be plus 4. So this is equal to 0. So we have, uh, we could simplify this one as 1 over 0 minus 4 over 0, which is, this one is, this expression itself is, undefined and we could not have our limit as undefined okay so how are we going to do that so this solution cannot be um, taken as it is so we could not say that our limit of a of this function as this function approaches to 2 is undefined because every limit every um, every function has its limit so we will now try to use our knowledge in algebra in solving this function. Okay, so first one. So first thing we're going to do is just to erase this. Okay. So we will use our algebra here. Okay, so first we will try to uh, factor this one. So because it is factorable. So x then it will become a quadratic function. Maybe that quadratic function can be... Uh, factor out also okay so we just try that one as x approaches to 2 have 1 over x minus 2 minus 2 times 2x minus 3 okay over so we just factor out first x x so we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 Okay. Then we will factor out this one. So that will be x minus 1 and x minus 2. Okay. So we have 
limit of x as x approaches to 2 so we have x minus 2 minus 2 times 2x minus 3 quantity over x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 then we will try to have this one as a single fraction so we will um, get the LCD okay so the LCD for that one we have 1 over x minus 2 okay so the LCD we are trying to get the LCD here so it's just write the LCD okay we will have a straight line a long much longer straight line so the LCD for this one is X uh, X X minus 1 then we have X minus 2 okay so if you are going to get our numerator for from this one this will be x times x minus 1 and above that will just be 2 because these 3 are common denominator so you have 2x minus 3 okay now we will um, sim simplify our numerator okay so limit x minus 2 Okay, so we have x squared minus x minus 4x minus 6 minus or plus, okay, plus 6 all over x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. Okay, so we... We are running out of um, space, so we just have a new page here. Okay, so we have. So if you are going to simplify uh, the numerator further, so limit x minus 2. Okay, so we could have this one as x squared then our common so we have x and negative 4x so that will be negative 5x so we have negative 5x then that will be positive 6 all over x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 so if we are going to factor the numerator so we will end up with limit okay so let's just write the limit here this will be x minus 2 that is the factor x minus 3 all over x times x minus 1 times x minus 2 so we could cancel out our x minus 2 so we will end up with limit x 2 this is equal to x minus 3 over x times x minus 1 so now if you are trying if you are going to substitute our 2 as a value of x so our numerator will not have a zero so our function will not go undefined so we will have now our limit so getting the limit here so we just substitute x a two to the x to the value of, for the value of x so we have two minus three over two times two minus one so we have this will be negative one so this will be 1 so 2 so we have 1 half and this is now equal to the 
limit of our given function. x minus 2 minus uh, 2 times 2x minus 3. And we have x cubed minus 3x squared plus uh, 2x. This now is the answer. So our answer is negative one half. So on the next video, I will uh, tell you the other way of solving this one. So there is a certain theorem in which we are going to use in solving this one. So that will be all for this video. I hope you learned something. And as always, keep on studying.